Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Anki. Welcome to my display of Call of Juarez the Cartel. Fucking couldn't find my words there. So this is the third game in the series, the first let's play that I'm doing on the series. Um, generally considered the worst game in the series as well. Uh, this is the one that plays during uh, recent times or current day, not like in the Wild West anyway. Um, plays in California, I'm pretty sure. So, you get to choose between three characters, which I'll show you in a second, but let me just quickly um, explain a few things. So, I actually did just pre- uh, or um, just test record a little bit, just about like 10 minutes or so, just to see if everything was working fine. It did. Um, however, there's a few things I already noticed that are super annoying. Like, um, you can see how super slow my freaking mouse moves. I have to fucking drag it all across the screen. It was sort of the same in the first two games. It wasn't this bad. Like, in this game, it, it goes by the mouse, mouse sensitivity option. Uh, which I always set relatively low. I don't, I don't know. I'm not that amazing at shooters. I always have my sensitivity relatively low. Um, but yeah, it, it it uses the same sensitivity in the fucking menu, so it takes me forever to get anywhere with the damn mouse. I actually upped it a little bit just for the menu, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get adjusted to that in the actual game. I put it up a little bit higher than I would like it, just so the mouse doesn't move so extremely slow like it did before. Um, and the zooming is like super slow as well when you zoom in with a weapon, but we'll get to that all when, when I play the game, I suppose. But just this opening screen, it doesn't even look that good, does it? It's just, it's just weird. Like, the graphics in the game are meh at best for when it was released, but then there's like little things that just make it look, like, bad. I don't know. I, again, I'll just explain it when we get into the game. Anyway, so we get to choose between three characters. When I go in here, though, they'll do that little conversation thingy off, so I don't really want to go through this so I'm just gonna say you've got Benjamin McCall you've got Kimberly Evans and you've got Eddie Guerra oh, so let me just Agent back Stone. out of this damn screen so you don't, they don't constantly talk through me um, so McCall what, whatever his first name was um, the first guy he's like the close quarters guy but he is like a di direct descendant of Billy I'm pretty sure from the first game um, so I'm tempted to play him because you know it sticks to uh, the, the first two games. It is an indirect sequel, by the way, because it does have, like, that connection, but besides that, uh, I have no, I don't know anything about the story or anything, but besides that, I'm pretty sure, um, it, yeah, it's just a different kind of game, but yeah, it is an indirect sequel because it has the connection. The next one, a Gunslinger, has no connection whatsoever, it's just a, a different game in the series altogether, different people. Um, but anyway, I'm tempted to go with him, although he's, like, the focused on, sing or on, uh, on close quarters. He also has the, um, the dual pistols, which I think is pretty cool. The lady, whatever her name is, she's the long uh, range person. And then the other guy is the medium range person. So I kind of want to go as the long range, but I kind of want to go as the Macau guy because, you know, he's the descendant of Billy. And um, yeah, so it, it actually, it is not like this, it's not like the second game. You choose a character in this game and you stick with it throughout the entire game, basically wanting you to replay it three times for a different ending and all that. Um, there is a free player co-op in this game, but I figured since I already did the first two games solo, I may as well just do the, lot, or the last two solo as well. The, the next one doesn't even have co-op, but I may as well just do everything solo, I figured. Um, plus, I heard the AI is relatively good in this game anyway. Just like the second game, the AI was pretty good as well. The friendly AI, that is. Um, so that's pretty good. But anyway, yeah, so it's uh, it's Macau or the lady, but I'll, I'll go with Macau. Um, because, yeah, he, he's the direct descendant, so we'll, we'll take him. We can listen to if his little thing here. Off, you'll get the rest. How you, ben? Of course not. Oh, you know how I feel about you, right? Detective McCall? Catch you later, Ben. You bet. What can I do for you, sweetie? My name's Jessica Stone. You knew my father. He died in that DEA bombing. He left a letter with his lawyer. It said if something happened to him, I should find you. That I could trust you. Is this funny to you? Look, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do for you. But you were his friend, right? Right. A long, long time ago. It's just that someone came to our house the day before he died and threatened him. You should be telling this to the DEA, okay? This is way above my pay grade. He said his name was Tony. Who did? The guy who threatened my father. 
I'm afraid, okay? The way he looked at me was... You know you can't smoke in here, McCall. Let's go out to my car. But, but can't we just... Now! Stan, it's McCall. Listen, I need to get in touch with somebody in charge at the AGO. Yeah. I think I have a witness in the bombing case. Right, there you go. The so that's his thingy. He's, uh, he belongs to the LAPD, uh, Los Angeles Police Department. And you got Kimberly Evans. I'm not going to watch these, but she is part of the FBI. And then we've got Eddie Guerra, who's part of the DEA. The drugs, uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so let's start a new game. Let's start from this chapter. If you're starting, you Yeah, so I just did up to chapter one. It's a little, so I'm just going to do a new game. I just wanted to test record, see if everything was going well. And it did. 60 FPS once again. Just like the first two games. Jesus Christ! Are you out of your fucking mind? Fuck, 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 fuck! Hey, did you get on right. my fucking side of the road? So we're already in combat right away. Um, I guess we'll get cutscenes after. I actually skipped the cutscenes because... Well, oh the, the, not now, but when I test record it. Because I have no interest in watching them at that point in time. There's also a concentration mode in this. I think it's different for each character again as well. Which is pretty cool. There we go. Oh, and I already have apparently some... I already apparently have some uh, things nearly unlocked, like chain reaction and all that. But, uh, yeah, whatever. There's one of them actually called Gunslinger, which is funny, because the uh, last game is called Gunslinger. Last game for now. Maybe there's going to be more. Call of Waters games, who knows? I'm hoping there will be. So I'm, I, I'm enjoying the series now. Especially as the, as the second game, anyway. Even though this game is apparently not as good. I know Gunslinger is amazing. Generally considered the best one again. Oh my god. We were just fucking shooting an RPG at us and we just kept going. Man, I'm getting murdered over here. Someone over there shooting at me. I don't know where. I don't know who's shooting at me. It looks like it comes from over there, but I don't see anyone. That one. There we go. How about this guy? He's still going. Die already. That's one heavy truck right there. So I, I have no idea what's going on right now, by the way. It's not, not a clue. Is that person gone? Oh, here we go. Three weeks earlier. Certain elements in Washington are pushing for a military intervention into Mexico, and much of the public is behind them on this. But the Mexican government claims that such an action would be tantamount to a declaration of war. So the president is between a rock and a hard place here. He doesn't want war with Mexico. But then again, seven federal agents are dead, and that simply can't stand. That's why this should be an FBI investigation. The DEA has compromised itself enough already. FBI? We've been investigating the Mendoza cartel for over a year oh, now. Oh, yeah, that's worked out well. Enough! This interagency bullshit has got to stop. That's why I brought in Assistant Deputy Director Shane Dixon. She created this task force and she'll be running it. Miss Dixon? She's called Shane? What? Agent Stone was investigating the sale of military weaponry to the Mendoza cartel in Juarez. Why the hell wouldn't you tell us that? Water under the bridge, Agent Guerra. The Mendozas are a new player in Juarez. Not much is known about their leader, Juan Mendoza. But the scope of their operation is growing exponentially. Drugs, guns, gambling, prostitution. We've never seen a new cartel grab power so quickly. Which is why we think they may have infiltrated one or more of our federal law enforcement agency. That bombing was no accident. They knew exactly where and when to strike. And that's why neither the DEA nor the FBI are running this operation. We have a totally autonomous team. Miss Dix and I have another meeting to get to. From this moment on, it's all up to you. Don't fuck it up. Let me introduce everyone. Special Agent Eddie Guerra joined the DEA soon after completing his tour of duty in Operation Desert Storm. 
He holds the record for the single largest drug seizure in Southern California history. He's also the only DEA agent involved in the investigation who managed to survive the bombing. FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans, the youngest agent ever to win the FBI Medal for Meritorious Achievement. She single-handedly apprehended a serial killer who had murdered 32 women and in the process saved the life of his last victim. I brought her into the task force because of her ties to Los Angeles criminal gangs connected to the cartel. So you're in charge overall, but who's in charge on the street? Detective Benjamin McCall. He's with LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division. A 30-year veteran, he is a two-time winner of the Medal of Valor. A homicide detective? With all due respect, ma'am, isn't this a little out of his jurisdiction? Not at all. Stone's daughter Jessica contacted Detective McCall the day after the bombing and told him her father had been threatened just the day before. Which means we actually have a suspect and a witness. The suspect is Antonio Alvarez. Why'd she take that to the LAPD? Why not come to us? That's why. That's right, Agent Guerra. They all served together in Vietnam. McCall knows them both. So two became cops, and one became a crook. Worse than that, he's an asshole. Agent Evans, Agent Guerra, I'd like you to meet Detective McCall. You'll have whatever you need as far as resources. But in terms of manpower, you're on your own. No backup from federal agencies. We don't know who we can trust, so you'll only report to me. You're going to hit the Mendoza cartel as hard as humanly possible. Find and arrest those responsible for that bombing, and protect the witness, because without her, we don't have anything. What if we find out the cartel has someone inside the FBI? Or the DEA? Well, then the hardliners will have a reason to send the military into Mexico, and let's pray that's not the case. Because if that happens, a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt. We need to let the public know that any foreign asshat who comes after us in our own country will get lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. Say goodbye to him. Please. We can't take the risk, Mija. It's too dangerous. What do you remember from your father's conversation with Alvarez? They were arguing. I, he was yelling about some $50 million deal. As soon as they saw me, they went silent. And then Alvarez started threatening him. Was he intimidating or bribing him? Either or. Gold or lead. Oro o la chingada. What case was Stone working on exactly? The cartel is buying military-grade weaponry, grenade launchers, anti-tank rockets, night vision goggles. Stone was trying to find their supplier. For 50 mil, they can buy a fucking Abrams tank. Alvarez is probably the middleman. So you have no idea who the supplier is? Nope. Then the deal's probably already done, darling. Maybe not. Aranya recently flooded the city with a shitload of new product, eh? Aranya? They moving out of East L.A.? Up and out, chica. They distribute for the cartel. Maybe Mendoza's trying to make a little extra cash for that big weapons buy. I hear they're even selling their shit to the rolling 50s. Well, if that's true, then maybe what we need to do is throw a wrench into the operation and fuck things up. If the major players get pissed enough, they might show themselves. <laughs> Hell, we might even find the pendejo who planted that goddamn bomb. You okay, Jess? Please, just let me say goodbye to him. The audio quality of the speaking in this cutscene is horrendous. Stone was in the LAPD before he joined the Bureau. He had a lot of friends. I want to be Enough. there. Enough! Wh where are you taking me? Somewhere safe. Are, are you staying with me? You'll have protection. We need to go poke a stick in a spider's nest. And I think I know just how. Do tell. The enemy of my enemy is my carnal.
Do you think this interagency task force has the resources to make a difference? Absolutely. The president is determined to stop the spread of drug-related violence. The Mexican government has promised full cooperation. Rebecca Cuellar, LA Times. Do you believe this investigation could be the precursor to a U.S. military incursion into Mexico? At this point, we're not ruling out anything. The president has given me full authority to do whatever is necessary to bring to justice those who would threaten our way of life. From the streets of Los Angeles to the mountains of New Mexico to the Rio Grande, we will hunt these evildoers down. We will seize their drugs, freeze their assets, destroy their arsenals, and hang them high like the outlaws they are. This is war. We have declared war on the Mendoza cartel. Damn, my guy takes it pretty seriously, doesn't he? Is that it? I got to... Yeah, all right. Let's start. Right. Here we are. For just a quick Weapons second. Weapons are in the trunk. Take what you want and get in Boy, the car. Like a hood on. Beautiful day for a drive, huh? Man, I can't even... Whoa. <laughs> it's pushed away. Anyway. Um... Right, so we get to choose guns here, except everything is like unlo are unlocked. We can't choose different pistols though. But, uh, uh, oh, this is the you play one. I, I, I did see a pistol you can unlock, but um, it was only for co op, it said. So I'm not sure. Maybe co op means just a single player game, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, we could, we've got two pistols, so we could both take that one or one of each or something. But I'm just going to stick to these because they do more damage. I don't care about the rate of fire, really. And we only have one AK, so yeah, there's nothing really we can do right now. So let's move my mouse over there and Weapons go. loaded. Ready to go. And get in the there you car. go. Alright. But yeah, the audio quality of the voices is terrible in the cutscenes. I don't know why. Gotta get Seems out of the weird. city more often, man. Look at these mountains. You ever what the fuck's so up? Trees? The perfect place to hide a marijuana plantation. Why has he so cut that on? National Park. How Is that Obama thing or something? Didn't tell the bureau about this. Afraid to share the glory? I'm afraid you'd screw it. But anyway, these like look at those objective markers. They just look so case. bad compared to the rest they of the game. Like it, I don't know. It, Nah, it's a weird choice. The whole the UI is a weird so choice. We You'll see in a minute once we go into fighting and stuff. You really believe the Batos will go after Aranya? If someone burned up a couple of million that belonged to you, wouldn't you want some payback? They'll buy it. That's me. Warning, by the way. I mean, using the horn, not warning. <laughs> That's something different. Um, <laughs> Alright, easy, easy. We're close now. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna go full speed. It's here. On the right. You sure you know the way? Look, I saw the satellite photos, man. This is the way to the first field. All right. Looks like we have our way in. All right. Luckily, we're in America and we all have big trucks. So we can drive through water and shit. So no more horses in this game. <laughs> well, maybe there are, actually. I don't, I don't know. At some point. It'd be it's funny. Here. here. We're gonna have to leave the car and walk the rest of the way. There they are. Guess my CIs don't suck after all. Can we do this without firing any shots? Hey! Who the fuck? Gino, wake up! What the fuck was that? Ready to bust some caps? So I guess we can't do this without firing any shots. So it's obviously... The good thing is with um, this dual wielding is that we have more ammo and all that. Bad thing is that obviously the enemies are gonna have way better guns than freaking revolvers and shit. So it's gonna be a lot tougher, I reckon. What but do do? I don't know. Leave them. Playing on medium They're difficulty, by the way. Anywhere. Uh, is it far? Why is he wearing that? You should be able to see the first field from this hill. Mm. I don't understand. We got a little bit of a hike. You sure you can make it, detective? Yo, Evans, you might have yeah, to so carry his ass. my character, Let's by the way, he's, he's like Ray. He, he looks like Ray as well, doesn't he? But he's like Ray. He like he, he's heavy and shit and strong, and he can't fucking apparently climb or something. I don't know. But um, his jump is fucking terrible as well. Look at this. Eh. Like he's not even he's not even going in the air. Terrible. But anyway, yeah. So. Holy shit. He's similar to uh, Ray. I told you. That's a lot of damn weed. 
Think we can burn it all? We probably we just don't want to. Burn enough to piss those vatos off. See those tents? Seems like that's where they store what they've already harvested. If we torch two of them, you'll be able to see that smoke for miles. The fire lookout at Bald Mountain will call in the smoke jumpers. The Forest Service will take care of the rest. Let's go!